In a game called Habitat Scramble, third graders visiting the LSU Wag Center's Trees and Trails at Bird Museum and Gardens learned what happens when an animal's habitat is destroyed. The animals have to move to some place safe where they have food and no predators. Miller represented a rabbit in the game and was the first animal out after his prairie habitat was destroyed by a fire. And he tried relocating to a forest. I got eaten by a black bear. This was one station on the tour through Trees and Trails, which is an outdoor environmental education program aligned to national education standards. During the visit, the students also learned about invasive species and what trees need to survive. Teacher Bridget Cross said a field trip to Trees and Trails fit naturally into what her students are doing in the classroom and is a reinforcement of what they are learning in math, science, and social studies. They got to observe and see the different types of leaves and the, the trees to count the rings and the trees and the seasons, which that's interesting to them. It's tangible. This tour was aimed at third through seventh graders, but Trees and Trails also provides a program for kindergarten through second graders. Trained docents take the students through the forest and provide a lesson at each station. We just hope to kind of open their eyes to being able to observe and learn what's around them and enjoy being outside and, and, and learning that even playtime is a learning experience. The games help strengthen the message, but getting students out in an urban forest helps foster appreciation for nature. As a coyote, Natalie Morales enjoyed surviving the rounds of Habitat Scramble, but she said her favorite part of the day was just wandering the trail. Seeing all kinds of different trees. With the LSU Wax Center, this is Toby Blanchard reporting.